Let's talk to former royal butler to the king, Grant Harold. Happy Boxing Day to you, Grant <laughs> Harold. Lovely to see you this morning on GB News. Uh, you must be looking forward to this documentary then. Have you seen some, some clips? What's your take on it so far? Good morning to you both, and yes, happy Boxing Day. Hope you had a good Christmas. Um, do you know, I'm, like you, I'm going to be really interested because I'm one of the, the lucky ones, one of the few that has worked in that environment. I know what it's like, obviously, behind closed doors, which is it has been an amazing experience. So it's going to be interesting to see what this documentary is about, how much they get, how much insight they give behind closed doors. But I think, as, as Cameron would, would agree, over the, the last few years, there's been more and more, um, they've given more people an insight into what that's like. They've kind of opened the doors up to, up to us, I think, more via social media as well, because, you know, there's been a lot of kind of behind the scenes, for example, during the coronation. I don't know if you, you might remember that, obviously, Prince, Prince of Wales, there's some behind the scenes footage released. And, and that just shows you how much it's it's changing. And again, just how they are as, as people with the hugging and the, dare I say, the high-fiving. I've even seen the king do a high-five. All these kind of things just show how it's changing. And I think it's it's good to do this. It's good they're doing these kind of programmes. One of the things that struck me, Grant, was how relaxed the king appears. And you really do get to see these family dynamics at play uh, behind the scenes. But of course, it, it's very mm. sad as well, because we understand that he still very much loves his youngest son, but more and more, he's just completely cast out of the fold here. I agree, Cameron. I mean, uh, as you say, you, you know, getting to see the king behind closed doors, he's got a great sense of humour. I think I've said this many times over and over. He's he's quite a fun character. I think there's a clip where you actually see him kind of flapping um, the, 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 what he's wearing, the robes, and kind of joking, saying he can fly. That's exactly the kind of little humour bits he, he would come out with. Um, I'm sure, as you say, there is obviously a degree of sadness because... I would like to think that the relationship between him and Harry has has been um, fixed, that they are speaking again, but I don't think any of us really know. And, and it's it's quite sad because the kind of person he is, he's a very, he is a kind, um, considerate, and, you know, he, he wants everyone to get on. That's what I remember working from very much. I remember that of both of them, the king and queen, and they didn't like any kind of upsets or anything wrong within the household. So you can imagine when it's family, I think this must be quite devastating. And I'm sure it's something he will want to fix. But how easy that is is another is another question, you know, because it's not just, um, not like when we all have normally fam normal family fallouts. This is a, a very famous family. Grant, what did you make of um, the the church service at, at Sandringham yesterday, where for the first time in, in many years, we, we saw um, Sarah Ferguson, the ex-wife of Prince Andrew, who I don't think had attended Christmas Day at Sandringham for 30 odd years. I, I was, I thought it was quite interesting actually because again, is this a sign of, of the times changing within the royal family? Because, you know, like one time uh, as a divorcee of, of a member of the royal family, you just didn't come back into the fold. And But I think as we've all noticed, she's been around. She hasn't completely gone. She's very much always been by her husband's side. She's always around with her, her two daughters and the families. Um, she's, I've noticed recently she's built up her profile again quite a lot, which has been really nice to see. And being invited to the church, well, that'll be an invitation from the king. So it is definitely bringing her back into the fold, which is a, a really nice thing to, to see. And, you know, it also kind of made me wonder, is, is it possible, and dare I say this, is it possible that one day we could see Harry and Prince Andrew um, remarrying? You know, because that hasn't escaped my mind, and I'm sure all of you think the same, because it's, it's definitely a relationship that the two of them do seem to get on really well. And as I said, the king seems quite happy to bring her back into the fold of the royal family. Well, they certainly do live together, don't they, in Royal Lodge they on do. the Windsor Estates. And, of course, they mm. both share two daughters who have children of their own now. Exactly. And as you say, Cameron, you know, the fact they live together, uh, I, I don't know many divorced couples that no longer, <laughs> normally they live in other parts of the, the country or the world, not exactly in the same home, which I think is a great thing and, and shows the relationship between the two of them. And I think it's been that for many years. This isn't a new thing. It's been that for a long, long time. So as I said, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe they're just erring the side of caution. They don't want to suddenly get remarried and something to go wrong. So maybe well, they're just playing it safe. But it w wouldn't surprise me if we did see them um, remarrying. Although, Grant, let's be real here. Royal Lodge is a, what, 30 bedroomed house. It's not exactly a tiny little bungalow. So they don't have to be in the same room all the time, do they? They could be in completely separate wings of the building. 
do you know, Cameron, I think we would all be quite happy if we were given a house like that and, you know, had a little humble <laughs> house. As you say, it's, it's definitely a, a mansion. And, of course, you know, if they don't want to see each other, I'm sure it's more than possible in that property. But, again, uh, having a having a there, I think that signifies something. I, I really do. And I could be completely wrong and, you know, um, you never know. But it just appears to me that that relationship is getting stronger and stronger. And, as I said, uh, you know, I don't know if we've ever had a, a remarriage within the royal family ever. I don't know if that's ever happened, but this is not without the realms of impossibility, I don't think. Well, watch this space, Grant. And uh, if you mm. would like to know more about the Royal Family's Year of 2023, you can join Grant and myself at six o'clock here uh, on GB News. We've done a pre-recorded year in review with lots of royal guests.